Hey everybody, welcome back to Burkrew Studios Plays Master Over Ryan, where we are back in our really first playthrough, um, and first playthrough for me in general for the game. So um, let's check on some things. So um, our asteroid mine finished, which is fine. Uh, we are currently building the, um, uh, the space outpost thing, which is good. Um, we've got a couple fleets guarding our sand bases here. Um, there is a space pirate in route to Winel, and we are scouting out the uh, Koloth system. So, um, let's do that now. We have a huge barren ultra pour, and that's uh, that's so great. All right, uh, and this is the pirate fleet they were talking about right here, which at this point, not real scary. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and um, continue. If we take a quick look, for those of you who weren't with us last time uh, or have forgotten because it's uh, been a whole day, um, <clears throat> we are building biospheres and uh, some government stuff at the main. We're actually building a hydroponic farm on our main base, which will be done next turn. So we're going to go ahead and click next turn. Okay, well, that's nice. So Colony's population has grown, and it's Sand 3. We knew that was going to happen. We talked about it last time. Uh, and I'm going to leave this guy on food production to help increase our uh, population here. Uh, we're going to keep building that, uh, that structure. So um, I could move this guy here, but I don't think the trade-off is worth it. I mean, yeah, it's it's the sooner we get the population, the better. Don't get me wrong, but um, I would like to get the, um, the morale up. So we're going to do that for now. And then... Um, let me go ahead and buy the biospheres because I really do want to find out if it has any impact on food. And then on our home planet, we have to choose a new production because we already finished that up. Now, um, you can uh, you can look at the different types of buildings you know, once there gets enough of them, or you can look at all of them. Um, you can look at projects. So pollution cleanup is a project versus structures versus ships, right? So we're looking at all those right now. Uh, we do have 29% pollution, so it might not be a bad idea to do a little bit of uh, pollution cleanup. That's going to impact our production. Um, so we'll try that out just to see what happens because we just haven't experimented with it that much. And yeah. Next turn. The humans are coming. So, where are? They? Oh, interesting. So this is a space pirate base. I did not know that was a thing. So that's cool. We might send one of our destroyers to deal with that. Um, they are sending their ship here. That might be an issue for us. So. Um, yeah, we may have to... There, there, there's so many little things to this game that I just, I'm just i not familiar with yet. Uh, we're going to choose new production on Sand uh, 2. Um, Biospheres did increase production and, and food. So we're plus 3 um, food. And um, we're going to get some more population at 4. Um, choose production. So uh, do we have a lot of pollution here? We do not. So I'm thinking uh, government uh, government stability, government support facility, blah, 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 words. Um, for now, marine base might not be a bad idea, though. But we're going to do this. We're going to be a little risky there. We've got other ships and stuff in, in the system, so uh, I think we'll be okay with that. And I'm curious to see if he's moving that guy to Winel or if he's doing something else. Uh, and I'm going to just set this guy to auto explore for now. It looks like in the spiral, we've hit the, the end of the spiral there, so that'll be interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. At least until we can get this whatever tech we need for. Um, the are sniffing for secrets as we speak, Your Highness. Oh, we get one more turn until we get that next one. Let's click next turn and get that. So, what are you doing, little guy? All right, so we finished this research, which gives us an atmospheric renewer, which reduces pollution by 25%. Um, and then Merculite missiles, which will help our uh, ships. So we're going to update those blueprints now. As, um, more powerful missiles is definitely a good thing. And then... Um, 
What do I want next? Uh, I, I got. I love. I love so many things. With um, anything that does production is usually one of my favorites. So it's hard not to go advanced engineering. Um. Mm. Plus to food though is not bad. I do like money. Biotech might not be a bad place to go right now. I think I'm going to go back to advanced engineering, though. Because I'm just that big of a fan of production. So. Sorry about that. I had to sneeze. Um, yeah, let's see what's happening. Because I'm curious to see what this guy's doing. I'm hoping he's just going to Weidel. I didn't know you can move those guys between areas. I guess it makes a certain amount of sense that you can. Uh, choosing production here. Probably going to start with a research lab. Uh, just to get the research going. And then we'll start doing uh, uh, some other stuff. Um, what else do we get? So we got a pirate fleet near Koloth. Sand 2 grew. So... I guess we'll leave them on research for now. And we've got all the pollution reduced there, so I'm going to stop that and start making an atmospheric renewer, which will help with our pollution problem in general. Okay. And Ursa Prime grew, which is good. So next turn. So we... Oh, there is another system off of here. So we found another one, Wilder. And Sand 3 has grown. Good, good. Um, I think I'm going to put him on population growth for now. want to get some of these planets uh, up and running better. Alright, so we got our government support facility finally on Sand 2. And now I think... Oof. Um... And I hate to not have a research lab, so I'm going to build it, but I really want to get the star base up and running soon for defensive purposes. Because if the humans come at me, then I'm pretty defenseless right now. I Military, I have not done much build-up right now, and that's a bad thing on my part, but it is what it is. I am going to move this guy to um, uh, over here at some point. But we did finish the uh, military outpost. All right. Warp point defense. So if you see, we do have command points. That is a resource that we have to deal with. Uh, we're at um, 15 right now. Um, participates in all battles at the warp point. So I am going to move this guy into the sand system. We detected another pirate fleet. That's fine. What did we find down here? We found a medium toxic rich planet. Man, there's so many... Toxic planets already. Which I guess makes a certain amount of sense. Um, Welcome to GNN mm. Galactic News Network. A quarantine has been hastily established around a Borothi colony due to the rapid spread of a deadly plague. The disease has the potential to kill millions. All scientists at the colony are now focused on finding a cure. Wonderful. So we have a huge issue, deadly plague, and um, it's going to cause a decline in population, which is horrible. So it uh, basically has reduced food by half. Uh, all research now is uh, going to be used to develop a cure. So I'm going to put that there. We're going to lose population, I think, in 18 turns is what that means. And what else here? Pollution to 10%. Um, do I make another colony ship? Or do I make some combat ships? I think I'm going to actually do some defense. Alright, so that's a thing. We just have to deal with it. Nothing I can do about that. Alright, so we finished our research lab at Sand 3. Awesome. 
Um, I probably will do a um, atmospheric renewer at some point, but right now I kind of want to get the star base up and running. So I'm going to start production on that right away. And once I get the next population, I'll put them on uh, production. All right, now the pirate fleet's coming again. Uh, so Wilder had four planets, and one of them is a large, abundant desert. So, who kind of want to go get that one. Problem is, I'm afraid of spreading myself too thin. I mean, that's two hops there, three hops there. Might be too early for that. Hmm, I'll have to think about that a little bit. All right, so we got our population there. We got a worker on strike. That's a problem. So I'm going to build a star base there. So why are you on strike? Um, hmm. Well, nothing I can do about that right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, we got our lab done at sand two. That's good. Uh, now we can do um, pollution is a reserve minus sixty four percent. Not sure what that means. I'll have to look that up at some point. All right, so um, I'm thinking. Missile base or marine barracks, maybe. Let's do. Yeah, let's do marine barracks for now. Okay. And um, where are you going? Oh, that's right. That's an unstable war point. So now he's gonna go die to the space dragon, probably. Mm hmm Yeah, humans are moving around quite a bit. I wonder if they could do anything at the planet itself. Let's go look. This is GNN, Galactic News Network. All right. Another victory for science as the plague threatening the Bulrothi Empire colony has been cured. All right, so we cured our thing, which is good because that means now we're going to make food again and all that fun stuff. Uh, and I'm actually going to move him. I wonder. Yeah, let's do that. And let's do another colony ship, actually. Or. Yeah, let's do the colony ship. Then I need to get some destroyers out. We're on turn 49. Probably moving a really slow, honestly. Uh, so it doesn't look like I can build anything on uh, just a plain old planet, which is fine. All right, so we finished our research. We get a space elevator, a cruiser, and titanium armor. Mm-hmm. All right, so the space elevator improves um, uh, ship cost essentially, and the cruiser is a new, a new hull. So that's awesome. Do some upgrades, and now we need to pick another. What do we want here? There's a barking dog in the background. I apologize. Uh, ooh, battle pods are always good, and fighter bays. But let's look at the tech tree. Um. I'm probably going to want um, these things here. Hmm. Buy bonus, population growth, that's that's all good. Uh, extra food is good. Toxic processor. So, yeah, I'm going to do biotech next. All right, new ship design has been discovered. So now we have the cruiser. Uh, let's edit this guy and see what the alternative uh, ship model looks like. 
Um, blocky seems to be all alternate. I'll stick with that, and then we'll do a design theme C. Uh, there are some specials I can choose from, but I cannot add them right now. So we'll just keep the base build. All right. Slow progress, but progress nonetheless. All right, fleet needs orders. So we are going to build, I think, a military outpost. Yeah, let's just do that. Just to face, because they've got one there too, so uh, that's clearly an intelligent thing to do. We'll probably build another one at some point. Oh boy. Can't you just run? Yeah, there goes my scout. I told you he was gonna do that. Told you he was gonna do that. Welcome to GNN. Galactic News Network. It is a dog eat dog galaxy out there as the Mershon Pride battle against the Cylon Quanta for control of the galaxy. So there's a war out there now between uh, the Mershon and the Cylons. That's interesting. Um, so we're ahead on conquest somehow. Uh, nobody's ahead on Diplo. And we're second in score, or third in score behind the humans and who knows who. So that at least gives us some idea of what we're doing. This is GM. Lots of news breaks. The Sakra Brood battle against the. Oh, so sorry. four of the races in the galaxy are now at war. Um, I think. I think it's four of them. Let's skip the formalities. I have other business. What do you um, want? So the voice acting, by the way, which I haven't really addressed here, um, is actually a lot of really famous people. Um, if you ever watched Star Trek, that was the voice of the guy who did Q. Um, Mark Hamill's in here. There's a whole bunch of... Uh, Michael Dorn. There's a whole ton of people in here. Um... Fair is fair. We ask so he wants you. some credits for me to do the charts. Eh, I'll wait. I think what I'll do, i got to decide if uh, I want to make buddies with him or not. Uh, I may not just to have something interesting to do while we're, uh, while we're doing the playthrough. Uh, we do need to choose some production on Sand 2. Um, I don't know if I want to do Space Elevator here, because I don't really see myself doing that a lot. Um, I do want to get um, Starbase, though. So I'm going to go ahead and do the Starbase. And um, I think that's all we need to do this turn. Um, I know I need to expand faster. Um, for those of you who are like, what are you? We've learned a new trick, thanks to our scrutineers. So we got Cloning Center, which gives us population growth. Uh, which means you need less food for population growth. And then Death Spores, which is actually a weaponized version of this research, which is pretty awesome, actually. Uh, well... This could be of aid. Alright, so now... Um, I think I'm gonna take... Hmm... Tempted to go with Xenobiotics. I'll do uh, economics for now, just so I make sure we keep up from a, um, a revenue perspective. Because revenue, as you get later in games like this, is so important because your ability to buy things can save your butt during some wars and whatnot. So, all right. So, I have a colony ship and the cooker. Um, I guess Starbase will be done next turn. That's fun. Oh, there's another system that I can't see how to get to. I think that was completed because of the Starbase. So um, the Starbase, which is here, uh, gives you scanner range plus one. 
as well as extra command points, which is why it's also important to build these pretty quickly so that you can get bigger fleets. And if you have bigger fleets than your opponent, then you have a much better chance of defeating him, right? Um, so, how's our pollution on the planet? We are up to 10%, so I might as well use some production to build the atmospheric renewer. And then three more turns and we get our colony ship. then I really do need to expand. I don't know if the dragon went away. I'm going to send one of my ships there to find out. All right. Sand three went up again. That's good. I really do need to figure out a way to get the morale up. Um, I could just lower taxes, I guess. But I don't know what that's going to do to my economy. Let's try that for now. Just because I don't like striking workers when I'm trying to build a bunch of stuff. Um, so let's do that. Unfortunately, these ships are really slow. Thanks to our scrutineers. All right, so let me see, tech tree wise. Hmm. I'm gonna go with fusion because I want to get some of the uh, the weapon stuff. So we did complete our colony ship, thank goodness. Um, let's look at the planet screen here, and it looks like the. Um, you know, we got some rich planets with some specials. So red fungus on Wilder 2 gives us some stuff. Um, uh, let's see. Koloth 2 is huge, though. Even though it's barren and ultra poor, that may not be the worst thing in the world. Uh, what do I want to do? Main Prime is a medium swamp that's rich. That's actually not a bad idea. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy. Oh, wait, no. Is that the one with the ship? Yeah, that's the one with the ship. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the colony ship moving in that direction anyway. Um... Got some extra guy on sand too. That's good. I'm going to push him to production though for now. And Ursa Prime has grown as well. What are we going to make here? So we could make trade goods now, which would give us money. 50% of the production goes to credits. Um, this is, may not be a bad idea, but I think I'm actually going to go with the space elevator here because this is our primary shipbuilding. Um, we're going to go that route. Anyhow, we, uh, we will expand next episode. Thank you for watching, and um, we'll see you next time.